Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to quickly generate MDX query. Uh, the reason that we need to sometimes generate MDX query is, let's say that you're connected with your uh, cube and you wanted to run some report against that cube. So when it comes to OLAP, um, it's not T-SQL, it's multi-dimension expression query. You have to write query in order to retrieve the data from your cube. And I'm, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple ways to do it. I'm going to paste it right here. The first way that we can quickly generate MDX query is using SQL Server Profiler and number two using OLAP pivot table extension and uh, the second up here the OLAP pivot table extension you need to go on internet and download uh, pivot table ex OLAP pivot table extension if you are running Excel uh, we're gonna go ahead and install that and that's a Excel extension uh, basically OLAP pivot table extension so if you uh, have Excel that's 32-bit you need to download 32-bit OLAP pivot table extension and if you are running 64-bit Excel then you need to download OLAP pivot table extension 64-bit and I'm gonna show you real quick that where I have downloaded first let's take a look these are my downloads and as you can see right here I have both OLAP pivot table extension set up for 32-bit Excel and OLAP pivot table extension set up for 64-bit Excel so once you download that you need to install that and that's what we're gonna use in our second part so let's go ahead and use SQL Server Profiler uh, to generate the query so we're gonna go ahead and go to my SQL Server Tech Brothers SQL if you do not have permission to run SQL Server Profiler then second option would work fine for you so we're gonna go ahead and go in SQL Server and fire up our client and SQL Server Profiler this is my um, this is uh, management studio so we're connected right here with analysis services server right here as you can see if you don't know how to connect that you can click on connect and select analysis services and then connect with your uh, analysis server services so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this since we're already connected and right here is your um, databases uh, in my case it's demo cube underscore customer initial and this is my cube uh, keep in mind that in my cube I do not have any data this cube comes from um, Microsoft um, Dynamics AX maybe we can choose another cube so let's say this is my TFS uh, cube we're gonna go ahead and look at it in team system and these are the measures so we're gonna go ahead and browse that cube this particular cube cube needs to be processed if uh, you wanted to browse that cube uh, the browsing cube when I talk about browsing cube it really is that creating a report out of it but um, you need to basically once you are done with browsing cube and what you're looking for and all the data that you have in, in right right here then you can go ahead and run that query and we're gonna use SQL Server Profiler to grab that query so let's set up first our cube that what exactly our report is going to look like so we're going to go ahead and get the measures first so we're going to go ahead and go in the work items and I want to look at the size of the work items and I wanted to look at work item count as you can see let's move the side here we have work items count 48 and completed work we wanted to look at so there's no completed work in here so there's no need to really move that here let's say we just wanted to do the uh, work item measures and we're gonna go ahead and grab our dimension attributes so we're gonna go ahead and in team project so we're gonna go ahead project node type name we're gonna move that here so this is our team project we're gonna go ahead and get the date we're gonna go ahead and get date right here so as you can see that these are the dates and these are the work items that was created in team project so let's let's say that uh, this is the report that you wanted to run so now 
we have the report right here let's go and set up our SQL Server profiler you click on tools SQL Server profiler and connect with your analysis services server now if you if this cube is being used by a lot of users what you would like to do is go in event selection and select up here the column selection and up here is the username and to username you can filter that um, you know just on that particular user that you're running let's say that that is for me that is cluster admin so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on anti user and like up here we're gonna put uh, tech brothers backslash cluster admin so in my case this is the only user really is connected with this cube so I'm not gonna set my filters I'm going to go ahead and just take the general and start run okay as you can see that uh, our SQL profiler is running so what we're gonna do now we go back to our management studio here is our cube and we're gonna go ahead and click on execute this query so that profiler can grab that query if you go back to profiler right here this is the query the every time when it says the query end that is the query it ran basically so we're gonna go ahead and select this query copy it and we're gonna use that particular query if we click up here design mode if you look at the query it shows the query right here as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste our query right here and execute that query and it should give us the same results as you can see so this is the one way that you create uh, you can generate MDX if you don't know um, how do you really work with uh, MDX then this is the easiest way that you can grab the MDX you can explore your uh, you can browse your cube and get the MDX from there and this MDX you can use it in your report so this is the first way let's uh, look at the, the second way how we can do that so I'm gonna minimize this I'm gonna open Excel So this is my Excel open. I'm going to go and go to the data, create a connection with my cube. So we're going to go ahead and add and click on browse for more. We're going to go ahead and click new source connection and we're going to choose Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services since this is where our cube is and we're going to make our connection next. Put the SQL Server Analysis Services server name. In my case it's Tech Brothers. SQL and instance name is SQL SQL P R O D SQL production so we're gonna go ahead click next and we're gonna go ahead and choose the cube that we wanted to you know connect to in this case is TFSAS so we're gonna go ahead and choose the cube from here we're gonna go ahead and choose the cube team system click next here you can give the friendly name uh, right now it's a SQL server name plus your uh, uh, database name and your team your cube name so friendly name is TFS underscore cube connection so we're gonna go ahead and click finish and if you look at the properties right here definition as you can see right here this is our property if you wanted to use this string somewhere you can copy it from here and put it in your string uh, connection string so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and click OK so we're gonna go ahead and click on existing connection and our existing connection is this this is our existing worksheet we're going to use pivot table report so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and this should connect us with our queue so what we're gonna do is we have measures and attributes dimension attributes right here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make that particular report with uh, with this cube mm -hmm. so we're gonna go ahead and get our work items just like we did in our SQL server we're gonna go ahead and 
and choose this. Work item count. Completed work items. And we're going to go ahead work item count. And then we're going to go ahead and get some dimensions up here. We're going to go ahead and do the date. So let's say this is our report and we would like to look at the query. We're going to go ahead and close this one and we're going to right click up here and up here at the bottom you will see OLAP pivot table extension. You need to click on that Keep in mind that OLAP pivot table extension needs to be installed before you can see this option. So we're going to go ahead and click OLAP pivot table extension. And right here on the tab, we have some tabs, calculation, library, MDX, search, filter list, uh, default, and about. So we're going to click on MDX, and here it is. This is your MDX that has generated this particular report in Excel. So if you wanted to use this particular MDX in your report, SSRS report, let's say that you're build, creating SSR reports off of uh, OLAP, you can use this particular query and get your report going. These are the two ways that you can easily generate MDX. You don't have to really know MDX as far as uh, I'm concerned, but sometimes, you know, uh, you can, this will give you a base MDX and you can work further if you wanted to go in, um, go in the, uh, r rather than up here, you wanted to, instead of all, you wanted to do some filter. It's easy for you to um, edit this query rather than writing the query from the scratch. I hope this video helps.